Hey everybody, just back with another video. So it looks like Jugmeet Singh is now the uh, talk of the town after his recent uh, decision to rip up his supply and confidence agreement with Justin Trudeau. So I'm going to uh, have a look at what Pierre Polyev has to say about this. But before we do that, I just want to give you guys a reminder to please like and subscribe this channel. It really helps grow this content or this channel rather. And um, you could also leave your comments in the comment section, whether you just have a thought, a question, or a suggestion. Uh, whatever's on your mind, please feel free to leave that in the comment section. I do always enjoy um, engaging with you guys as well. For the last two years, Sellout Singh has signed on to a coalition, a costly coalition, to keep Trudeau in power, raising taxes, doubling housing costs and unleashing crimes and drugs in our streets. Sellout Singh betrayed the workers who thought he would vote, he would stand up for them. Instead, he has stood up for Trudeau, allowing Trudeau to double our debt and cause the worst inflation in 40 years. Thir a third of Canadians now say they consider leaving Canada Two million line up at food banks. Two thirds of kids, young people, and families who don't own homes believe they never will. Yeah, I mean, you know, and it's just, it's really sad, right? Because, you know, Justin Trudeau has just done such a terrible job for the last, you know, nine years, but specifically the last five, right? I mean, the last five is just, you just see everything just basically going into the tank. Um, but you know, when you, when you have uh, when you do something like this, when if you're Jagmeet Singh, right, and you're thinking, okay, how can I help myself in the polls? It seems like it was a really big mistake to basically end that agreement with Pierre with Pierre or sorry with Justin Trudeau right now because he's in fourth place. It was not a long time ago, eight to ten months ago, I believe it was, where he was actually like right there with Trudeau for second, slightly in third. That was the time to do this and get some of the supporters from Trudeau and maybe even get some of your own supporters back if they left for the Conservative Party. And then you call an election, potentially getting second place. That would be a huge win. Well, let's have a look at the recent polls from today. It's basically the same as last week, but look, NDP, 16, 16 seats. They're third in popular vote, but they're fourth in terms of seats, and that's what counts. Liberals down block up NDP just they're going to get somewhere between 10 and 28 seats so now he's going to go from third to fourth place probably so now he's not going to want to call an election but he ended the agreement like it's it seems like Pierre Polyev is right because he said earlier that you know this is kind of like a like a, a publicity stunt from Jagmeet Singh because it doesn't really mean anything the government is still in charge the same government is still in charge Nothing's really changed in the polls. It seems like Pierre, or Jagmeet Singh made a huge mistake here. He probably thought this would have helped him. And there's been some polls taken in the past week. Maybe the, in the next couple of polls, you'll see him, him improve it a little bit in the seats. And maybe Trudeau or the bloc comes down to give him some hope. But I don't see it happening. People are clearly done with him. They don't trust him. He's not likable. I mean, he's just, he's just cringe. He makes no sense. He keeps lying about Pierre Polyev. Oh, Pierre Polyev's going to cut your pension. When did Pierre Polyev ever say that? It just it makes no sense. It's just fear mongering, but there's no facts behind the fear mongering, which is why it's fear mongering. But you, you know what I mean, right? Like usually there's some sort of truth. There's no truth here with Jagmeet Singh. He's not in it for the people. He's in it for himself. He didn't want to call an election last March because like, well, if I if I don't come in third, or if I don't come in second, rather, and I come in third again, or if I move down to fourth, I'm screwed and I won't get my pension. Now he's going to wait until February or March, maybe April, call the election, probably sometime in May. His pension secured. He might get removed from the party, or not from the party, but from his leadership role. Because if you go from third to fourth in a time where liberal voters in a very liberal country have left the liberal party, Logically speaking, you think a lot of them would go to the NDP, but they don't. They went to the Conservatives because Jugmeet Singh is also so bad. And Jugmeet Singh is the one who propped up Trudeau for two years. Jugmeet Singh says, well, I'm for workers and I'm for the average Canadian. You propped up Trudeau for the last two years because you were not with Canadians. We keep saying, well, we got a lot done. 
really? Then why are, why is everything so bad? Why is rent so bad? When his wife's a landlord, by the way, crimes up, violent crimes up thirty percent. Mental health issues are up. Wages are stagnant. Like, what's gotten better here for the middle class, Jugmeet? And it took you two years to figure this out? And then you decide to leave the agreement with no benefit to you at all. It has not helped him in the polls, at least yet. It probably won't. So, I mean, I don't know what his plan is, because right now he's making this whole thing. It's like, okay, it's it's me versus Pierre Polyev. Trudeau's out of it. It's like, uh, dude, apparently you're out of it. You're in fourth place, so you might want to wake up and actually do something smart for a change. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I really do uh, enjoy engaging with you guys. And please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button as well as that uh, notification bell. Thanks so much for watching, guys. That's going to be the, uh, the end of this video today. And I will be back very shortly with a new video.